Ah, uh, before the dawn. If you've been playing Roblox for a while, which if you don't play Roblox, I don't know why you're watching this, you've probably seen a game called Before the Dawn, which when it was first released, we all thought was some kind of Until Dawn game on Roblox. But it's the exact opposite. If you haven't played Before the Dawn, which again, if you haven't, I don't know why you're watching this, it's a game with two teams, the survivors and the slasher. The survivors will need to hide in a locker or behind something, and the slasher needs to find and kill the survivors. Pretty basic, right? Well, the Redux just flips the main mechanic on its head. If you've seen Before the Dawn on the front page, you probably know that there's now a remade version of the game, Before the Dawn Redux. Now when I first saw this, I was a bit skeptical of this, because most of the remix of the games that I enjoyed just took the main aspect of the game and threw it into the bin. But this game, I'm kind of split on this one, and you'll see why. So, let's get started. Let's start with the most important part, the gameplay. Because it's not gonna be a game if it doesn't have any gameplay. There's a bunch of things I could talk about with this game, so let's get started with the good parts, cause why not? The survivor's role in the last game was just to hide and lock her, if you're stupid, hoping the slasher won't get you. Now it's completely different. The survivors now actually need to do something. Wow! Personally, as a game developer, it makes me really happy how the developers approach this new game. This change majorly affects the game because the survivor's role isn't as boring. You can now play the game for hours instead of waiting for you to be the slasher, kill everyone, and then leave the game. Because quite frankly, the slasher was the only exciting role in the old game. There are multiple things you have to do as a slasher based on what map you are doing. The count modes are, activate the generators, make a master key, fix the truck, find the 8 pages, can complete the altar. I'm pretty sure all these modes are references. Let's see, uh, find the eight pages, obviously a slender reference. Activate the generators is a slender the eight pages reference. Fix the truck, maybe a Friday the 13th reference. I have no idea about complete the altar or craft missing key. Fix the truck, you'll need to scavenge items like wheels and gas to make the truck work and escape. Crafting the master key is just finding some keys lying around open some chest and craft the master key. And complete the altar one? I'm not too sure, you have to like, find some keys, then shards or something? I haven't cleared the map yet, and I think the rest of the modes are pretty self-explanatory. However, there are some things wrong with these maps, mainly the amount of time you have. It's really short, especially the 8 pages mode because the map is huge. The slasher has a higher chance of winning because the survivors didn't get enough time to do the objective. Well, 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 what do we have here? Now in the Redux, there's a new role called the Hero. Depending on hero you have equipped, it can either be a defense hero or support hero. And what makes them special? Well, nothing. They just have some abilities that normal survivors don't have. Unless you're a support hero, then you can actually be helpful. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Support heroes can heal surrounding players and do something to the slasher like blind them. But defense heroes are pretty unhelpful. You just have a tool that can stall the slasher. Like if you have the police officer, you can get your shotgun and stun the slasher. And that's it. Unless there's some other heroes that have some other abilities that I don't know. I haven't seen all the heroes. What do you think I am? A full-time YouTuber? <laughs> ah yes, the slasher. The most important role of the game. Well, actually, all the roles are important except the hero, but anyway... There's not much I can really talk about this. The slasher pretty much stays the same. Kill all the survivors and you win. Only change I can see is that not all survivors now have thermal vision. Only Predator does. Next? I probably should have said this at first, but oh well. There's now an inventory GUI where you now need to buy the slashes that you want to play as. You no longer get a randomly chosen slasher, the same goes with the hero. But before we talk any more on this, can we just appreciate how freaking well this UI is made? J just look at it! I probably should mention that there's now also loot boxes, and from them you can get taunts, screams, and skins for your slasher. Depending on what skin it is, it might make your slasher stats better, or it might just be there to make your slasher look cool. Either way, this is a very nice touch to the game. There's a lot I want to list for this game, but since I don't know how to properly structure them, I'm just going to read them out in no order. Here are some things about Before the Dawn Redux that I want to mention. Who made these models for the heroes and the slashers? The models are amazing! This guy who made them needs to have Boxy this year. 
How the inventory UI was executed. Oh yeah, I forgot, you can now revive people when the slasher downs them. Campers. Oh my god, the campers! The winner for the most disturbing taunt goes to the zombie. The winner for the most unsettling sound that you hear while playing the game goes to the fallen. The ghosting is now free! I've been waiting so long for this. I'm gonna go a little developing tangent, but if you're making a Valentine game and you lose by getting killed, please make it so the spectating system is being a ghost. The reason is, is that players spectate as a ghost, they still feel like they're still a part of the game, because they are on the map. The Stalker Reborn clearly was the game that this ghost spectre thing originated from. One more reason why the Stalker Reborn deserves more attention. How when the slasher sees you, Friday the 13th Chase Music Plays. One of the reasons why I don't really like this game is that it's not as fun to be the slasher. Although this is probably a personal problem, I just loved going into a room, obviously see someone hiding in a locker, pretend you don't see them, walk out, and then coming back and kill them. That was so fun to do! I loved scaring people. Now it's just like, oh look, the slasher's coming, I better run. There's no scare anymore. Unless you're lucky and the survivors don't see you. And that's it. Overall, Before the Dawn Redux was a fantastic revamp. The developers clearly learned from their first game and then built on that. That's what good developers do. This is clearly how to do a revamp right. I was gonna add a funny story to this outro, but uh, I don't know if we really want to do it. I'll probably just like put in comments or something. Yeah.